now he has to prepare himself between uh, Kawano and mm. Fujimura coming up. <laughs> Pretty important here. Yeah, again, another big matchup here. Uh, Kawano, as we kept talking about, so many of the players in Japan feel like he has the potential to be, you know, one of the strongest of the younger players. I mean, obviously, it's going to be him and Higuchi at this point because Higuchi already qualified here. But, uh, you know, obviously, Higuchi is just at this level that is just ridiculous. But Kawano is right there. A lot of people have been talking. He's basically like the main name in terms of just like you know I don't want to say he's a newcomer or player on the come up because he's been playing for a while now but definitely part of the new generation yeah. uh, coming in from from Japan basically so yeah it's because he keeps changing the color of his hair that's why you don't realize who it is sometimes, <laughs> I feel like. no all jokes aside no I think you're absolutely right again he's been one of those characters one of those players that have just been the character specialist for Colleen and, and has been on the map for quite some time so it's no surprise to see the kind of success he's been getting after being under the tutelage of so many legendary right. players right and it's not every be, season uh, of Street Fighter League and just putting in the work on his own too right. and, and he's in and he's part of round five <laughs> with Naoman and Moke <laughs> who, who is it Naoman Moke Kawano and there's two more I forgot who the okay, other okay. I'll figure it out round five of course the the boy band basically that mm -hmm. they've formed together the from J their the J-pop group yeah the J-pop group that they formed from their Street Fighter ties that's actually really sick <laughs> it is it is really sick when's the commentator group getting together man you know how good we are in, uh, in, in karaoke dude, you, I know <laughs> I was about to say dude we, we're all definitely karaoke <laughs> nuts here you so, have it in your blood, though. Uh, right? Oh, I mean, definitely. So, yeah. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. <laughs> Growing up with a magic mic, as mm -hmm. I've been told, every Filipino family does. You're right? damn right. <laughs> <laughs> Going into it now, Kawano with the trigger. Yes. Ooh, okay, going to be huge damage off of that. Look at that. Ow. And that Kami doesn't, doesn't have a lot of health, you know, to begin with. Don't you dare try to dive kick. Kawano is looking for the counter opportunity. Oh, yeah. We've oh, seen him do it yeah. before. Possibly do it again. I mean, you might actually even be better off jumping and whiffing a jump attack just to bait out the the, 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 the counter. Yeah. Would he risk it at this stage of the game? I, don't like, know. I know Fujimura I don't know. is like weary of it, but do you think? Aha! A little bit too much tentative from hitting buttons. Kuano finds the opportunity to dash it and get the throw. Again, Fujimura now lost oh. half of lost half of that. Oh, you're dead. It's so difficult to time after that. You're trying to get like a frame trap as Cami. You take one step too far mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. somebody's going to hit you with the light. And it just yeah. so happens Colleen has one of the better conversions off of lights than yeah. you could possibly imagine. Not only just the damage, but the carry she gets afterwards. Mm -hmm. It's so good. So Kawano with round number one here. Oh, oh, oh boy. They were just going back and forth. Both of them hit a button at the exact same time. Kawano the one coming out on top. Nice. Again, that air to air. Good strategy. No opportunity. Oh, but did he hit a button on purpose to get under that to kind of low profile? I mean, either way, I think it would have covered an early dive kick, right? Yeah. Every punch. That's so true. Whatever the intention was, it was going to cover both options. Throw out the heavy punch again. That heavy punch from Colleen. Such a vital button to, to her Ugh. footsies. Ah! And you that heavy kick. That. Dang, that hit the sinuses out of you. I feel like, Jesus, James. That cleared, I can that breathe. cleared it up Wait, real what quick. What the heck? It's crazy. I can breathe out of my nostrils now. That was wild. Oh, the single hit confirm. Okay. Actually spends the second half of that into the uppercut. Uh oh. You're going to lose so much health in this situation. Uh, double ice spear. Whoa. Mm, I don't know about all that one. Yeah, not sure what that was all about. And here comes Fujimura here with an opportunity. He's not going to get another V trigger. But he's got that super. He just wants one hit confirmed. Oh. Yeah. Was he too far away from the corner to get the double spear? Oh, no super. Oh, he doesn't have the. Yo, he does have the super. He did. He did. He absolutely did. 13 seconds on the clock. Oh, my God. That could have gone to either one. He just knew he was going to jump. You, he woke up holding up forward and had that air throw ready to go. He was like, Fujima, you're jumping. You're jumping on my on on my wake up, and I'm just gonna air throw you. But uh, what happened? What if Fuji Fujimura? What if Fujimura pressed air grab at the same time? Do you think it did the? Uh, <laughs> what did it have an air tag or something? No, it wouldn't do an air tag. <laughs> it would just randomly pick. I just what? Why didn't Fujimura go into the super in that situation? I mean, when it, when he didn't come out, I thought I was just seeing wrong that the meter was on the wrong side, but he just didn't do it. That was really interesting. I think. While Kawano still has meter, trying to use a meaty could still be a guess for games. Right, yeah. I think that's what it was. Ooh, 
Oof, again. That heavy punch, finding the mark with the crush counter, confirmed into the parabellum. And just the amount of carry it has. Like, oh, oh, my oh, God. Oh. Uh. Root punish, and now the setup here. What's he go for? Yeah, jab Fred and kill short. Him throw. Every time we've seen what he's what he's done in that corner a handful of times. Again, off of those lights, could have gone for something bigger, I feel like. Ooh. Ooh, but it was only a light kick. It was only a light kick, so it wasn't going to be able to punish that. Oh, ah, speaking of whiff punishes. Of course, that is the weakness there. If you're trying to get the corner push, you, you switch sides. Uh, if you're in the middle of the screen, as Cammy getting that drill. Oh, my oh. I've kick into the crouching short. Does get the opener. A stand short again. You were talking about it just being a light kick, but there's so much mileage coming out yeah. of it. Fujimura really taking advantage of that. Normal. Oh, you know what he's doing. He's throwing up yeah. his to stop the dash watch coming in. Watch your feet. Watch your feet. The skates. Oh, speaking of watch your feet, I was talking to Fujimura, and he said, you know what? Good idea. Dash up, crouching <laughs> near kick, single hit confirmed, super done. There we go. It was only a kick. <laughs> it was only a kick. I can't believe it. Are you kidding me right now? This guy Fujimura is a nut. Oh, my goodness. The fact that these players have gotten to the point where they can confirm single hits off of these 16 frame cancels, I think Cammy's is 16 frames, is just absolutely nuts. I mean, have you seen some of those streams that Phenom has just like sat here confirming? Yeah, he too? would confirm like 20 in a row or like try to get as most of 20 as this he can. It's ridiculous, yeah. man. It's like, I, I don't understand. I love his attitude and demeanor behind it, but we'll get into that story at, di at a <laughs> He's different time. like, it's so easy. <laughs> Uh, oh, pop. And Fujimura still sitting at trigger. Activation counter yeah. hit. Heavy punch. You know, yeah. he's going to carry to the corner now. That was so ambiguous. Another yeah. opening down below. Again with the crouching light. Too kick far opener. away for the throw that time. Oh, again the single hit confirmed. DP back out to the other side. It was sick. Not enough to kill. We've oh. seen what happens with the pixel, but actually. Fuji, I mean, Kawano, unable to use that pixel for his own pixel comeback. Mm. Fujimura taking that game. I think it's 1-1 now. That is correct. Two rounds straight. Very, very convincing in that second round. I think that last instant where he caught the low by surprise really messed with Kawano <laughs> a little bit. I think in those instances, that's exactly where Fujimura kind of finds his confidence. This yeah. is the second kind of iteration where we've seen these bursts of offense <laughs> yeah. after. He's Crazy comeback kind of situation. Yeah. And afterwards, yeah, just feeling good about himself afterwards. Oh. That's too high up. That's too high up. That's going to be punished. No, no, he got it by the jab. Yeah. He tried to get a tip throw for stun. Oh, he tried to do the air to air. Nice single hit confirm again by Fujimura. He had the single hit confirm, but it was an air hit. So Kawano was able to get a little bit of punish after landing. Oh. Oh my God! You can feel, you can feel the strength behind yeah. the like how much she puts her back into that medium kick. She's like, because <laughs> I mean, the both of us. I mean, like if you played a lot of these fighting games, you see this footsies and when like when they're daring to hit the button, you just get so nervous. Like ah, it's <laughs> exactly what it feels like. It oh. gets really nerve wracking just watching it, but yeah. you can see how close mm. Fujimura is and trying to catch the lows again against Kawano. But still, the mediums have been putting a lot of work, keeping the spacing alive, right? Standing medium kick with Kami. Kawano throwing out those crouching medium kicks. If it's blocked, it's plus one. It's fine. Nope. He has no real risks behind it. And he also right. has trigger. Kawano would be in a great position to get this oh hit. Oh, my God. Fujimura's confirms are ridiculous right now. What Bro. is... Oh. Okay, you're, you, but you're not out of this yet. Colleen oh. is so scary. Oh. Not a single hit confirm. That's one of the first times we've seen that miss. That's going to allow him to get in. But just checking the walking forward by Kuwano. Fujimura takes an official lead here with one game and one round. I mean, other than that last instance, we've seen a lot of single hit confirms. You know, Sako has already dubbed him the precision instrument. Fujimura, oh mm. boy. We talked about the dangers of throwing out the media yeah. against... Uh, Colleen, it's still a mix if she has meter. Ah, the counter hit confirmed. This is going to be good stun right here. One more. Yep, there we go. So Kawano is going to be able to tie this up one to one. Ugh, heavy parabellum. In rounds, much, I should say. Yes, getting as much, as much meter as possible. Pretty much all tied up all across the board. One game apiece, one round apiece.
Only difference now is Fujimura. Oh my god, gets bodied by the light kick. It was only a kick. I can't elaborate that enough. Now into the corner, the ice goal. So plus afterwards. No. Yep. <laughs> Getting the double jump out of there, causing that uh, DB to whiff. He did go for the light one. If he had gone for the heavy one, might have connected. I think he would have ran into the ice goal. Oh, actually, you probably right. You probably went too far. Yeah. You see the light kick being buffered away from Kawano. As long as he has that bar, he's ever so dangerous. Because that single conversion could be a lot of damage, obviously, but mm -hmm. could push to the corner more importantly. Interesting. Using the V reversal for the like side that. switch. There it is. Single hit confirm again. I like that a lot because even if he does get a hit from Kawano, it's not going to push him to the corner. Just like this, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh. And then what? You dash the up twice? Up. Yep. And you get the mix. Goes for the meaty into the activation. Tries to go for the throw. Nice tech by Fujimura. Good checking the dashing, crouching light kick. Was able to block a time. Oh! Oh, unfortunate. Again! Dead? Not, Not quite. quite. Icicle? Oh, he tried what to do was something. That? I saw a counter hit. I saw a counter hit. I, I think he tried to throw. I think yeah, he was trying to tech. I think he was trying to tech. hovered right outside that range, mm -hmm, too. Mm -hmm. So Kuano going up two to one. And again, you know, if you guys are watching this and you're not sure how they're doing that single hit confirm, it's usually by watching the stun bar. You actually hit the button, you look at the stun bar of your opponent. Mm -hmm. It's a faster reaction to see the yellow build up on the stun bar than it is to see if you've hit your opponent. And that's where most of them are doing the hit confirm on. Yeah. There's other there's other methods you could do it off of too. Like you could check anything that pretty much builds meter, right? The EX bar you could do the same. Yeah, 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 yeah. In yeah, certain yeah. instances in the corner and whatnot. There's a lot of little helpful things you could use to get these confirms going. Ooh. That's different though. That's just yeah, a straight up. Yeah, that's just whiff OS right there. You just hit the button and cancel it at a range that it'll miss. You're buffering for your life. Yeah. And look at that, just pointing at you. He's like, who's got the life deficit? <laughs> Who? Tell and, me! And I like that idea from Kuano, right? Let's just walk away from the corner. Don't give Fujimura the ability to back throw and then all of a sudden turn the whole thing around. Just oh, walk boy. back to the middle of the screen. Oh, and now no. Kuano is just, I mean, precision instrument in the neutral right now. He is, I mean, he is a scalpel right now taking out Fujimura. Mm -hmm. He has his own precision instrument. I feel like that was pretty much a perfect, right? There was only Grey Life on yeah. the side, but mm -hmm. Fujimura now on the offensives, not worried about the wake up Whew. parry anymore. Oh, just got hit by the cross up. He touched the button. I saw counter hit. And now you're in the corner. You've got to deal with this pressure. No activation yet, surprisingly, from Kawano. He wants it off of a clean hit. He Ooh. wants to make it count. I don't think he's going to get Salt that opportunity switch. again. Fujimura finding the mark, EX Spiral out of the corner, and now he gets to play with as much of the space on the mm -hmm. stage as he wants. Okay, gets the activation, but that was such a late cancel and far away enough that I don't think he could have got anything off of that. Here we go. Oh, the cross-up! Yes, oh. almost. Almost no smart no quick oh. rise and then just wake up with the buttons the oh. buff on my EX cannon drill activation to extend that combo and get the win. Fujimura Ooh. trying to stave off Kawano right now. Kawano, this is a second match point now. The big oh. buffer stand light kick. EX Parabellum now into the corner. Dash up. No, he's gonna go for the icicle instead. Rock bottom on the way down. Checking with a lot of the meets. Any sort of buffer in EX Parabellum is going to spell danger. Even more so now than ever as that stun bar is racking up. It's so dangerous for Fujimura. But Kawano not overextending. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like I said, every time he gets that aggression, he backs away a little bit once he once the mix-ups are gone. Oh, man. That standing light kick is causing so much pain for Fujimura. Mm -hmm. He has not been able to handle that light kick. That light kick has been a nightmare for him. Just running into the shins, man. Fujimura not checking down below, but still the trigger is on deck, so he could amass a comeback if need be. I mean, obviously yeah. he needs it, right? Yeah. But if he needs to use the trigger, it's going to lead to a lot of damage. Watch out for these single hit confirms. Oh, man, Jeez, they were the just staring at <gasps> Okay, there we go. Single hit confirming. He backed. Okay, oh, he backed no. away. Okay. Just sat there and got the block. Not going to spend any other resources just yet. Here he goes. Not he wants like the stun. Don't get thrown. And he thought the same thing. That is it. Ugh, Fujimura tying it up. Didn't even need to use the meter. That was so interesting. He did not spend, he didn't activate trigger. He did, He was just like, you know what? I blocked the super, knee bullet combo. I got another hit, just regular combo. No activation, no activation. Just keeping that as so a threat sick. in there. And then the shimmy at the end, 2-2. Two, two. So both of these matches in losers quarters here going 2-2 two, two right now. And uh, oh man.
I'm happy. I'm happy. Let's get some good Street Fighter here. This is the first time we've seen it go down to the wire, right? Actually, the second time. Yeah. In this particular round of losers. I like that. <laughs> yep. That's what I want to see. This is what we expected, honestly. This is looking like top 16. Uh, I, I now. felt like this was going to be happening the whole entire top eight. I That's why I was surprised that we had so many 3 0 3 1s to start it out. But this is, this is more on par of, what I, my, of my expectations here. I completely agree. And I couldn't ask for anything more. You see a lot more background houses oh. coming in from Kawano. Ooh. And you see Fujimura a lot more weary of that standing light kick, throwing in a little bit longer limbs. Right, and that's what that standing heavy punch there is for, too, because if those buttons trade, remember the priority system is just going to blow up that, that standing light kick. But there's, um, I don't know, man. There's a lot of success coming in from that light kick either, either yeah. way from Kawano. But Fujimura really picking and choosing his spots. You see Kawano kind of opting to go for stand medium punch now in light of seeing all these mediums. And I love that from Fujimura. He knew that because he's not hitting a lot of buttons, that means Kawano's going to dash forward at some point. Again, that's twice now that he's checked the dash forward from Kawano. Kawano feels like he has to do that because Fujimura's not hitting a button. That's the footsie's triangle. If they're not actually hitting buttons, you've got to move forward. Oh my god, on the same side, excellent tech. That could have been a big stun. Ooh, Stopping the V-reversal, very nice, but still it's gonna be 12 seconds on the clock. Fujimura oh, man. has a slight light That's lead. a punish. He didn't build up the super just yet. Kuano still with oh a chance. Oh my god, he He's can get it. He's gonna get the kill off of this. I can't believe it. Fujimura was one pixel or two pixels away from getting the super, so he couldn't combo into the super and that actually led to his loss in that round. I can't believe it. The one time he needed to be the confirmed god. The gods were not with him. Oh, big punish coming in. Wow, he just went for an overhead in the middle of footsies there. Interesting. Definitely not. I don't think that's what he wanted at all, but still right. the light kick buffer stopping Fujimura again. Double dash over, a little bit of a delay. Yeah, he knew. He was trying to build up that V trigger, mm, but gets it anyway. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. Raw okay, activation. Guys, this is scary now. Watch the low, watch the dash crouching light punch, but Fujimura has been really good at checking that. Oh, it's so scary, too. Ooh. Just a little bit of that dash. It's so funky seeing it in V trigger, too. Yeah, she oh. also gets the extension on those punches. Mm -hmm. Ooh. It's so scary. The Fujimura oh, finding the mark. Oh, but the re extended range on that, confirming into the spear. Oh, that's going to be great for Fujimura, though. Yes, sir. Finding the mark is going to tie it up. Maximum efficiency. He opted to go for the uppercut because he knows it's going to be just enough damage. Final, final, final round. Woohoo! We were one round shy of that last time, but we got it here. Final, final round. Who's going to take this between Kawano and Fujimura? All the way into the corner. One third of your life is gone, oh, and this is going to be a stun. No. Oh, uppercut anyway. What? He did the throw in vulnerable uppercut. Cancels into the critical arc. This is going to be huge now. Oh, got the counter hit. Single hit confirmed throw. Look at this. Remember the kind of momentum he got from reads like that? He missed. And that can he punish in time? He yes, definitely he can. Does. He's on skates. It's going to be good Damn enough. It. A back throw is going to be more than so enough. Much. Can he get the throw? Babe? No, Fujimura is still in there. Oh, the punish the punish. Time. Yeah, because the range on that V-Trigger version. Oh, he backdashed. He was trying to backdash the throw, but Kawano waited and then hit the button, and Kawano is going to advance over Fujimura. Oh, in oh my, with one of the closest matches that we have seen in quite some time, Kawano Damn. advancing forward over Fujimura in uh, just... Oh. I'm last I, game. I don't, last I don't even know how to describe. Like I, I'm at a loss of words. They were going at each other's throats, James. Mm. I feel like that was the most offensive game of Street Fighter <laughs> I've ever seen, <laughs> or at least in today's top right, eight. Yeah, that was the most like pedal to the metal <sighs> action I've seen thus far. Let's take a look at the bracket and where we're at currently. But man, I, I need some time. <laughs> <laughs> It's a good thing we're going to a break after this because oh. that was actually ridiculous. We, they were indeed going a mile a minute. Dude, uh, it's just, it's like I said, there's just the part of me, the, the empathetic part of me that I'm always like thinking about what the players are thinking. Like, oh, that's so such a heartbreak for Fujimura. But it would have been a heartbreak either way. And it's just like, uh, I don't want to be that guy. Like, why can't we all just tie, you know? 